Chorus Creative Heart Studio, Punjab. Thank you. Over to intro section. Thank you all. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Mangal Ma'am, for that wonderful welcome address. Our uh, resource person for today, Mr. P. Dinikar Rao, sir. Uh, he's going to speak on the topic four days of life, and he's a former CGM State Bank. He's also been trained in the fields of uh, transactional analysis, behavioral science, and he's also the secretary of the Deccan Positive Mental Health uh, Group. And uh, we welcome you, sir. Very honored to have you. And uh, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Thank you, Anand, Anand, uh, Anita. Thank you, Mangai. Friends, this is a different topic I have chosen: life and four Ds. You may be wondering what these four Ds are. Therefore, I will try to make a presentation of my PPT so that this is only one thing I request all my friends. Unhesitatingly, you stop me whenever you want to stop. You ask me any type of question, highly embarrassing to me, highly silly, highly intelligent, highly innovative, no problem. For me, this indicates that I have handled so many situations. Therefore, no problem. You can ask me, you can stop me, you say, Please stop. I want to ask question because I am presenting PPT. I may not be in a position position to see all of you. Okay. Yes. Now you can see. You can listen to me, friends. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now this is of course introduction is already over. Now what I would like to say is. These though I have put life three Ds, I am going to talk about life and four Ds. And the most important thing is all these four are very critical to human beings. And first to three, that is disability, disease, and death. They are they affect everyone. Every living being suffers from disability, disease, and death. But the last one, divine power is mainly connected with the human beings. You may ask me, do you, do you think that trees, plants, animals, they don't think of God? No, because if you see in the Indian philosophy, we worship them. We worship plants, we worship trees, we worship sea, we worship rivers. Therefore, they are sort of a representative of the gods. Therefore, they won't think of, again, divine power as we think. Therefore, friends, now I'm going to talk to you about first coming to disability. If it is a congenital dis disability, the kid will not know. And he will not know and he will not, he is not also afraid of it. In this connection, I would like to share a small story, not story, what I have witnessed. I was in charge of my training center in Marit Pali, Hyderabad. Next to us, there is a women's college. There, a lot of trees are there, a lot of monkeys are there, monkeys used to play. And I, I saw one so small monkey with a twisted hand playing with all other monkeys. No other monkey is trying to humiliate it and saying you are twisted hand, you don't come. With the remaining three, one hand and two legs, it is swinging like a tarja. I said, what a wonderful thing it is. Will, if it happens to human beings, it would have been better. But as you know, when the kid grows with uh, some disability, the kid is subjected to some ridicule. Why I'm saying is when the kid moves into school or moves into other circle, people are going to say something about disability. In this connection, I would like to share with you one example of my cousin. His name is Raghava. He had a polio leg, affected with polio. We grew together. We grew together and when we are slightly five years or six years moving to others, other kids used to say, see this Langada Raghava. In Telugu they say Kunti, Kunti Raghava. I used to fight with them. Why you are saying like that? They said he is really lame, therefore why, what is the problem for us to say? But I couldn't fight with all the people. But as whatever it is, always I was trying to be with him to see that no harm comes to him. When we grew together and we are going to the college, when we are going with the friends, 
I used to ask my group of friends, others, please go slow, walk slow. Our hurry is there with us. Like this, I used to manage. But one thing I'm sure, kid will suffer a bit of humiliation. Nowadays, we are calling it as this, differently able, no doubt about it. But still in society, sometimes they are subjected to some criticism. In this connection, friends, I would like you to read about Nick Ujisech. You'll be surprised. Nick Vujicic was born without legs and hands. Can you imagine? But he has become one of the most famous motivational speaker. Please see his videos and you will be amazed to see his just for life. Originally, he belongs to Australia, but came and settled in USA. He lives in California. His wife, Kane, loved him from the beginning. Not that she started loving him when he became famous, no. In the beginning itself, when they were young, he started loving Nick. Lot of objection is there from her family and other friends saying, how we are marrying this legless, handless person? But she said, no. She married him. Now they stay in California. They are having four beautiful children. Kiyoshi and Dika. Uh, Sunanda, you have to mute everybody except me. Together, they have four beautiful children, two sons, Kiyoshi and Dejan, and twin daughters, Ellie and Olivia. You'll be surprised. Today, I was reading in the paper, Times of India, this Nick has come to Hyderabad. I was not aware of it. If I were to be aware of it, definitely I would have gone and met him. Then he went it up to Buntu, and he was giving a talk to a lot of students. And in the paper, I was reading that this man talked to the youth and said, Please remember, you are all having dreams. But if the dream is not attainable, you couldn't achieve the dream. Set aside the dream. Let the dream die and build another dream, but do not commit suicide. Because he was given to understand, a lot of people, when they are not in a position to achieve their dreams, like getting top marks in the school, or not getting a job, or not doing something, and getting criticized by his parents and others, they are having these suicidal tendencies to commit suicide. Therefore, Nick said, please look at my, me. For heaven's sake, please remember, you are much more bigger than your dreams. And you remember that anything you want to achieve, think yourself as bigger than that, what the goal is, and you are going to achieve. Friends, now I request Avin Sharma to play a small video of Dick of Nick Ujicic. Naveen? Yes, sir, I will pay. Please. Friends, wait for a minute. Naveen is the computer guy because I don't know how to play video. He is trying to do that. Audio is there, Naveen? Can you see? Uh, Anna, I think his audio is blocked. Sure. Yeah, it, it, it's not on. His audio is not on. Yeah, it's still on. It's still on. Hi, Navi. Because I'm sure audio is there. YouTube in the YouTube it is there. Sorry, friends. Sorry for the slight delay. Hi, Bablu. How are you? I'm good, Anna. Good to see you. Good to see you.
No, it is not coming. This man without two legs and two hands, he is into every game, including golf, including swimming, including ice skating, and he takes his kid on his back and does the ice skating. And he has, the speech he is giving is a sort of a speech in the, in the school. A lot of school kids are there. But somehow Navin is trying to get the audio. That is why I am acting as an audio for this. You see the way he is swimming. He is coming. See the way he is taking the boat. No legs, no hands. Remember that. Now he shows a small little finger in the leg. Left leg, you see the, and he says, I am having this much, that is enough for me. Actually, in one video, he falls on the table, but he gets up. And people are worried whether he can get up or not. You see the faces of the kids, how they look at him. You see the, the, the way he jumps into the pond. I think Naveen, you see finally the kids are so moved, everyone comes and hugs him. With the tears in their eyes, he says, remember, you can do whatever you want to do. Don't worry about so-called disabilities you're having. Thank you, Naveen. I think, Naveen, Naveen? Yeah. Naveen? Naveen, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next, next video, you oh, try to see that Jane's video. Try to work out. You are having some five, ten minutes how to make audio also. That is more important there. Okay? Okay. Now, friend, I have talked about Nick Vujicic, but there is a case in our country. Indian example, which I think this I have read in the newspaper somewhere in March, on March 20th. It is the story of Gia Rai. She is a daughter of Madan Rai, Indian Navy officer, who swam Park Straits covering almost 29, 28.5 kilometers in 13.10 hours. She swam from Talaymanar, Sri Lanka to Dhanushkodi in Tamil Nadu. She became the world's fastest and youngest female swimmer to swim park streets. What is so special, you may say? The special thing about the swimmer is that she is 13 years old and artistic child. Please remember, with the support of family and friends, even congenital disability can be handled. Friends, now I want you to see a small video clip. Navin, can you play the small video? Yes, sir. The kit. Yes, sir. That keyboard video, sir. A keyboard video. Yeah. I think there is a, uh, you try that. I was surprised to see that small kid without one hand and with one twisted hand playing keyboard that to our national anthem. I said, wow. Therefore, what basically is if family, parents, siblings, friends, support, what you can do is unimaginable. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. I'm talking about the people with a disability. They can do whatever they want to do, undoubtedly. I 
are you in a position to do navin okay okay <laughs> okay here my friends i want to share with you uh, now now is audio is there see the kid no no, no one hand and the other hand is slightly stunted he plays janaganamana there but i think i think audio is not coming okay audio is not coming navi leave it then go you see the other video jane's video try to see that audio also comes okay okay navi i think this is yeah. audio is not coming uh, you try, try experiment with that jane's video where audio should be there because it's more important okay okay navi okay sir okay friends here i would like to share the story of a friend of mine most of the people who work in state bank sbh they know his name is nr sitara he is affected by polio and he you knows 6 to 7 languages he is most popular among lady staff members and he used to play even cricket with his friends small friends a group of friends and finally he retired as agm our training center during so many years of my association i have never seen him with a roti surat face in hyderabad we call it as roti surat always smiling always active and when we are not having even a scooter he used to maintain standard car old model standard car wonderful man he is married to uh, meera i will talk about meera some of, after some time and a father of wonderful son and wonderful daughter of course he is no more a two years back a three years back he left this world now what are the points we have to think of sometimes and when you grow when you become aged you will lose loss sight sometimes hearing loss some part of the body may not function due to accident most of the time people try to cover up with artificial hair some of my friends have asked me in kerala we are having beautiful bald head why don't you have a wig i said why should i have a wig to cover my bald head god has given this to me therefore i would like to enjoy that is a shining bald head that is what i used to tell them i don't want to cover it up but no doubt adjusting with the disability is going to be a bit tough unless supported by the family and friends and most of the time when we are growing we take our good health as granted and once we lose it we obsess over it it is no doubt <clears throat> go back to the time of our healthy young days when we are very active jumping and dancing and i used to do almost 500 to uh, skippings now i can't do one of my friend mr yugandar was there he used to do thousand skippings what i am saying is as we grow then there is going to be a lot of changes in life and a lot of disabilities will come but that doesn't mean we are not in control of our life and there are many ways to improve our independence and sense of empowerment please remember no matter what type is our disability it is entirely possible to overcome the challenges we face and enjoy fulfilling life in this connection in 1980 i was as a kg mark branch manager i went to lotus pond lotus temple i think most of you know lotus temple in delhi if you have seen it once i saw 25 middle aged old ladies all on wheelchair they all came with a two under a two guy from usa to visit india when i saw them their their wheelchairs are slightly electric operated no i mean battery operated they are moving left and right hugging each other and some people singing i have never seen any single face with a slightly non smiley face everybody is smiling everybody is happy i said wow in india also i thought our people should know <coughs> joy life in spite of having the disability now friends i have covered one d disability anybody want to share how 
they know a person who has a disability how it was handled by them what is the support family or friends have given if any case is there can you please share yes sir i i just attended a workshop and there i saw a boy was <clears throat> handicapped on his legs both of his legs was not working right on the time he was born mm -hmm. Or most of the some cerebral palsy. He was mm -hmm. a patient of that, mm -hmm. and he won the uh, uh, international from India. India side, he won won the international uh, swimming competition. Can Why you believe? It? Nobody would ever believe. And I saw that boy that there was also on him, and I had a attended a workshop webinar. You can say. And there it, he was mentioned. His mention was there. I contacted him, getting his phone number. I talked to him. How did you find it? Were you born like this? this like this? Like wonderful, this? wonderful. Won that. So I was proud of my, him. I was proud of my country that who gave him a chance to go to the Olympics. And there he was. He won that. Like wonderful. Neelam Dhamija ji, you are a you, beautiful experience of Sheikh. I am very proud of you. Every program you attend, you are only 25 years young. I can tell you. In your mind wise, in your positive attitude wise, you are 25 years young. Thankful to you for participating and also sharing. Thank you very much, Neelam. Thank you, sir. Friends, I want to share Neelam Dhamija comes for every webinar program and she makes a notes and she also contributes. Hats off to her, Neelam Ji. When now due to changes in lifestyle, environmental pollution. Can I just add a point actually? Struck me. I just wanted to add a small point please, please. on this disease, uh, disability thing. I was just thinking that actually besides the challenge that uh, the person who is disabled has to go through, there is also this aspect of what happens to their loved ones and how they go through it. I thought about it because I know somebody who had a son who was afflicted with cerebral palsy and was totally uh, chair bound and couldn't do anything. And uh, hats off to her mother because uh, after a few years, her husband also passed away. But they stood by this child, looked after the child and the child also died later. But then during this period, she built up a school which takes care of disabled children. And then that's become a life mission. She had nothing to do with it, but because of the kind of experience that she went through, she converted it into something meaningful for herself and for the society around. And she's running a huge school, which has won recognition from so many places. So I was just thinking that actually that is also another aspect Great. Thank you. Thank you, Vinod, for sharing that thing. Thank you. That is why I shared about our Sita Ram. Vinod also. Yes, yes, yes. Now, as I was talking, genetic factors may be there. People get into major health problems. Diseases like cancer, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, sleep discs, spondylitis, diabetes, TB, all these are prevalent nowadays, undoubtedly. But what I would like to say is that one can be, if making a lot of efforts with a positive mind and positive mind and mindfulness, they can be happy even in a broken mind. It may not be possible, it seems, but truth is undoubtedly you can build a happy and meaningful life for yourself, even if you are never able to walk, hear or see like you used to do. As Neelam Dhamija has talked about, that person with the legs affected and we know talking about the other person it is possible to make the life much more meaningful therefore what my suggestion is it is it may help to search for inspiring stories of people with disabilities who are thriving and living their life you can learn from others who have gone before you and their success can help you stay motivated during difficult times in this particular case, I am very much impressed by the Jane Christine. 
Jane Christine, known professionally as Night Birdy, was an American singer songwriter. She has released so many albums, EPs, singles, etc. She has participated in America Got Talent in 2021, where she received a golden buzzer for her original song, It Is Okay. Now, Naveen, are you ready to play yes, the. Sir. But I am is... trying another one way, sir. No worries, okay. another one way. Right. You are ready or shall I wait? I am ready, sir. Ready. Okay, go ahead. And I, I was amazed to see her. If you go to YouTube and type Night Birdie, you will get all her videos. So now you can see, sir. Huh? Uh, now it is you put the you put the audio, play the video. Others can see. Huh? Okay. The audio should be there. Huh? Without audio, it is not much effective. Now we try. Yeah. Are you in a portion? Sir. Ah. Okay. We are you... getting audio, sir. No. You are not getting audio. Friends, are you in a portion to see hear the audio? He is not uh, started. Ah, no, he's paused it. Ah, but see, audio is there? No. Subtitles are coming, sir, at least. <laughs> no. <laughs> it won't work, man. Audio is not there. Okay, leave it then. Don't worry. What I'm saying is, friends, uh, Naveen is our computer guy. Sometimes we face adversaries and we try to struggle, but some other time I think it'll be successful. So what to do, sir? Now play the audio, sir. The video. Okay. Only audio sir. you play. Audio, sir. Only audio. Uh, only audio you play. Let us see. Right, sir. Okay. If you can't get video and audio, at least play audio for a minute. What is I will take You are getting? I will take audio and play, sir, until that you can carry on. Okay. Friends. I talked about Jane Christine, but what about Indian example? As I have quoted GRI, who swam from Talaymanar, Sri Lanka to Dhanushkod in Tamil Nadu. There is a beautiful example of story of Preeti, Preeti Srinivasan. And she was champion national at national level swimming champion. She is also under 19 woman cricket team captain. They have won award also in some of the Tamil Nadu sports. But when she was around 18 years, she's, she was going along with her friends for a picnic. She met with a freak accident and, and she broke her neck or something like that. And she has become completely wheelchair bound. And she has to struggle a lot. She has developed depression. She has developed a lot of other health problems. A lot of operations were done. Her father and mother were very encouraging. They took a lot of care of her. And she, because she has become a quadriplegic. But you will be surprised. Now she is almost 40 years. And if you see, if you type in the YouTube, Preeti Srinivasan, you will get her beautiful videos where she gives wonderful talks. She is 40 years and she has started long back one 
NGO and trust, but no soul trust. S O U L, soul trust. And this soul trust, her idea of this trust is to help other differently abled people to have a meaningful life. Can you imagine? A girl at the age of 18 met with a freak accident, became a quadriplegic, but she struggled a lot, no doubt about it. She went through hell. She shares, she shares that she wanted to commit suicide also, suicide tendency. But her father, wonderful father, mother supported her. Now, even in TED Talk, she has given a talk. A wonderful lady. And now she is inspiring a lot of differently able people to come out of their depressions and try to take care of it. Please see the video later on at her in the YouTube. Now, when somebody gets disease, what he has to do? Please remember, don't try to go through the negative aspects of that particular disease. One should be in a position to accept and seek medical help and support of family members and friends. There are groups, for example, cancer survivor groups are there. Join that group. Parkinson groups are there where they share their struggles. They come out of it positively. And that is more important. And learn as much as possible about the disease. Do not obsess with the negative medical thing because you have to be understand that obsessing with the negative medical information will be counterproductive. Please remember one has to face what is having, what is the diagnosis, what is the typical progression or common complication. Knowing what is going on with your body and what to expect will help you to prepare yourself and adjust more quickly. Friends, in this connection, I want to share with you a friend of mine. He is Mr. Chandrakant. He is retired as a deputy general manager. He had a Parkinson problem. He was in, he is in Bangalore. He had operations. Whenever I talk to him, he talks in a very positive way. His family and friends support him is one of the wonderful things I can definitely tell. Now, I can also tell the story of Meera. Meera is wife of N.R. Sitaram. You know that others know about her. A wonderful lady. She went, her daughter is in Seattle, daughter and son-in-law. And her, her daughter had a serious health problem. She had a cancer. She, Meera was with her, helped her to undergo operation. They ensured that she gets chemotherapy and when everything is okay, she came back to Hyderabad. Here, some medical test she has gone. You will be surprised, shocked to know she also developed cancer. But she has undergone operation. And during all those times, whenever I see her, I have never seen with a non-smiley face. I mean, what I call in Hyderabad, Rotisul. Always smiling, always cheerful. Her daughter Reshmi, her son Samir, her great support to her. She came out of the problem. She has undergone chemotherapy. Now she is sit Seattle with her daughter and son. What I am saying is such a great positive look she is having. I, her husband N.R. Sitaram, highly positive outlook. And her, his wife Mira, wonderful positive look. Another example I will quote is, she is a family friend of us. Her name is Uma. She is in Bangalore. And wonderful son and wonderful daughter. She is a very religious person. A lot of bhajan groups, bhakti groups she has joined. Beautiful house. We went and stayed there for two days. She got cancer. And she is undergoing chemotherapy. And a lot of support from her son, daughter, brother, sisters. Everybody supports her. Recently, five days back, she sent a message to me. Dinakar, I am also... I have undergone chemotherapy. I am almost out of it. I am cooking not only for myself. I am also cooking, cooking for my driver and my watchman. Because driver and watchman also, she has constructed a small place for them to stay. Highly positive look. She says, you don't worry. I am sure I will come out of it. That is how she tackles it. Therefore, friends, if any friend of you is having this problem, let them not abscess over negative implications. Let people help them.
to come out of it. That is more important. In this connection, one more disease which is much more tricky is Alzheimer's. To be frank with you, I am not in a position to say much about Alzheimer's disease because the person is having this problem has to be handled by close relatives. I know a relative of mine, distant relative, he stays in Visa. He is around 50 years. He had this Alzheimer's disease. And his children tie his leg with a, with a big rope to the door, front door. Because whenever they are in a they are not in a position to observe him, he just goes out of the house. And I said, but he is not proper. I said, what can we do, uncle? If he goes out, he doesn't know how to come back. And five, six, seven times it has happened. Therefore, we take care of him. A lot of care we take. This rope is also not one feet or five feet. It is, he can go almost to the neighbor's house, left side and right side. And he, he can go to the uh, front, our front garden. He can sit there. But we don't want to lose him like that. But they take extreme care of him. And here, my friends, I want you to see the movie, Still Alice, where Juliana Moore acted as Alice Holland, a linguistic professor at Columbia University. When I saw the movie, I was moved. Another example I want to give is of Sri Janath Hussain, once a principal secretary to a number of scenes. He is one of the most intelligent, handsome guys. I also went and met him. And he has having this Alzheimer's disease. I saw a small video clip. He stays in Surupet. His brother and his family members take care of him. He is walking on the road. Always one man is there, seeing properly in a very loving way, directing to come to safe side of walking. Friends, Algebis, I am not in a position to say anything, but the person requires fantastic support, wonderful support from his family and friends. I know a case, a famous architect who is in Bombay, he is having this Algebis. His wife is a very, when he was not having Algebis, she is a social board in the sense a lot of clubs she is a member. She is a member of a lot of talking groups, book clubs and etc. Now, I am talking about the news which I have read four or five years back. Now, she is taking care of her husband. She takes him in the wheelchair and shows whatever the building she has constructed as an architect help to construct as an architect and tries to re revive his memory. And sometimes she shares, sometimes I feel like leaving him and running away. But some divine bond is binding me, me and he. He takes a lot of care. But please remember, sometimes these thoughts may come because we are all human beings. These negative thoughts may come, but it is for us to overcome them and take care of the people. Therefore, my advice is think, spending a lot of time thinking about the things that disease has taken away from you is a sure five receipt for depression. Accept, move on in a positive manner. Focus on what one can do with the medical help and with the friend's help and with the group's help and plan about how you hope to live in the future. <coughs> this gives you something to look forward. Here again, I want to quote an example of Amakutu Varasia. When I was DJ Edna Kunzun, she was my personal manager. She looks after the transfers, postings, and etc. She had this blood cancer. And every month she used to go to Trivandrum or Ernakulam because she stays in Trishur and undergoes treatment. She lived for 10 years and she is member of a group, Cancer Survives Group. She is one of the longest surviving members. The group in charge has given a certificate to her. She has sent the certificate to me by WhatsApp to me. And she has toured a lot of countries. Of course, finally she is not there. But I appreciate her spirit. Her son, her daughter, Dhanya, she used to take a lot of care of her. Wonderful daughter, Dhanya. She used to take care of Amakuti a lot of times. Now, friends, if it is possible for you, I got this book also. I suggest you to read the book. You can heal yourself by Louis Hay, Louis L. Hay. If you see the biodata of Louis Hay, from the childhood she was subjected to so much humiliation, so much suffering. I don't want to describe everything. 
she had every health problem but because of her positive mind and mindfulness and lot of planning lot of reading lot of effort she came out of it and she wrote a book louis l hay's book you can heal yourself you can heal your life my friends try to get this book and if possible try to purchase this book and give to your friends who are suffering with a lot of problems lot of issues okay friends now in this case i want to talk about one lady by name varalakshmi i met her in the webinar she had the cervical cancer she struggled a lot and she says after reading this book and following some of the things what she has said louis a she came out of it she is now stays in atlanta friends not that this is really applicable to everybody but every day i chant this mantra vina dainene jeevanam anayase namaranam dehante tav sahijyam dehine parvati pati now i am coming to final topic death jatasya maranam dhruva anything born will die undoubtedly and accepting death as inevitable makes living much more, much more easy i have seen some people they go to lot of astrologers lot of numerology experts to find out when they are going to die it is not in their hands your hands you will be surprised if i share with you there is a famous astrologer by name vv raman in bengaluru i when i was in bengaluru state bank of mysore i went to see him but at that time he was a bit old i'm talking 91 he said his son will see his now son name i forgot him and he asked me my chart he fixed the date and he said come next day everything he has said and finally i said can you tell me when i'm going to go up he said generally they won't tell but finally when i requested him he said at the age of 65 you will go i said how you i will go he said something will get stuck in your throat then you will go and when i touched the 65 years for 3 months i suffered because of something getting stuck in my throat proper in all probability it may be psychological psychosomatic they call but now i am 77 therefore friends don't believe in their astrological predictions don't obsess about when you are going to die it is not that is inevitable everybody every living being has to die but remember if you have seen the tombstones mostly christians they will have tombstones you will say date of birth 1934 then they put a dash date of death 1984 that means 50 years you live that dash represents your lifespan how you are lived your how you lived your life during that lifespan what i call dash is more important than getting either birth is not in your hands death is not in your hand but in between how you lived your life is in your hands friends try to take care of that dash now friends i request my friend sinuvas rao sinuvas rao and myself we joined together in 1968 as probation officers in state bank of hyderabad but this guy is a very close friend of mine he left sbh joined idb then went to sibbi retired as cgm we meet once in a month and 26th we are going to meet i request him to kindly read i will pass for some time and share his experience in a very few words sino are you there can you read and share briefly for 3 4 minutes your experience read loudly unmute unmute yourself sino unmute okay are you over here okay let me have your presentation not oh presentation not there one second it's there but it is okay. uh, small small uh, print yeah let me see where i can read it i can't see the presentation clearly okay what i will do is i will read it you share one or two experiences of life and okay yeah. friends bertrand russell you know one of the famous person he talked about life and drawing a allure of reverse as existential metaphors he writes make your life interests gradually wider and more impersonal until bit by bit the walls of ego recede 
and your life becomes increasingly merged in the universal life. An individual human existence should be like a river, small at first, narrowly contained within its banks, and rushing passionately past rocks and over waterfalls. Gradually, the river grows wider, the banks recede, the water flow more quietly, and in the end, without any visible break, they become merged in the sea and painlessly lose their individual being. In this connection, it is good to remember the following mantra, Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandhana Mrichor Mukhi Amaprata. We are talking about Lord Shiva, and if we are saying, like a ripened cucumber, which is detached from its creeper, may Lord Shiva liberate us from death for the sake of immortality. Now, Shesh, you can share one or two experiences, Sino. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about ego. Ego, uh -huh. ego all of us are uh, very familiar with ego. Everybody has their own ego. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Ego gets you, you, ego is uh, fueled by praise, achievement, and success. So, when you are when somebody is successful, you achieve things, you do well in life, ego continuously increases. But the problem with ego is once ego comes to certain levels, you don't hear other people's problems, you only look at your success, and it is, it is a Sure, receiver downfall because a person who is egoistic is likely to commit more mistakes, and then it, it results in again downfall. So ego is a is a thing all of all people have, but the important thing is how do you keep ego under control? So if you develop inner voice, which tells you, "Yeah, you are now so egoistic, you are now making a mistake. Come down, come down." <laughs> Other way are going to fall. If you have some sort of a mechanism inside you to tell you that, yeah, uh, you go may be good, may be great, but then if you become so egoistic, you are likely to fall. So I, I have I have practiced in my own life. Because you, as Derekar knows, we all did very well in life. We had uh, good positions. We occupied high level of. Uh, uh, authority, we are high authority, and we uh, supervised over a large number of people, and we had all all sorts of experiences. But then, it is not that you are always right. So, in, a, in an institution, you are a boss. The boss, the subordinate, is always lower than you. But you suppose subordinate is gives you a better suggestion than what you thought about it. If you can't accept it, and your ego says, no, 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 my view should prevail. You are making a mistake for our nation. Similarly, in the case of a family also, as a parent, we have an upper hand over children. But there are many a time when children's views are better than our views. So if you can accept it and then modify your behavior, it's good for all concerned. This is what I just wanted to mention. Thank you, Sino. Thank you. Friends, now the last topic is divine power. Divine power is believed only by human beings. Because as I said, non-human non beings like plants and etc., they are all God's representatives. Because that is why I said we do puja to Ganga, we pray to Lord Himalayas also, plants and etc. But this divine concept either generally refers to higher power force that is controls influence the world and everything in it. This concept is central to many religions. If you see the monotheistic religion like Judaism, Christianity and Islam, there is only one God and is omnipresent, omnipowerful, omnipotent and all pervasive, om omniscient, omnipotent and all powerful. But if you see the religions like Greek and Roman, Old Greek and Roman and Hinduism, we are having pantheon of, pantheon of gods. Every god is assigned a power. Varuna, God Varuna, God Agni, Indra, Shiva, Vishnu, Parvati, like that. These are all the things which we think are the things which are controlling our life. But what I want to know is how many of you believe that this divine power is there? Personally, 
I feel, I feel that there is a divine power which is overall supervising. One of my teachers, one of my gurus, his name is Swami Sukhubhadananda, he stays in Bangalore. Once he said, in every situation, when you are acting, when you are taking a decision, when you are facing some challenge, and when you want to do something, there are three forces. One is you, I mean you, your competence, your intelligence, your emotional stability, and situation and others. And also there is a third one, which is known as a mysterious force. Sometimes this mysterious force acts in favor of you. Sometimes it is not in favor of you. Therefore, in some spiritual philosophical traditions, this is a perm permanent force controlling the whole world. But I am not sure. But I can quote three of my examples. We are having another four minutes time. One is, way back in 1974, I was branch manager of Pradhapalli. I was there almost for four and a half years. We are having a family friend by name Shankar Lalji. His wife's name is Parameshri Bai. We used to call her a Bai. Bai. Why means mother. And my sister had a very serious health problem. Then when I went and talked to this Parameshwari boy, she said, you pray to Ramdev Baba, you tell Ramdev Baba, you will come and visit him. Visit his temple. I said, okay. I'm talking about 1974. Sorry, 1976. Then I left Pedapalli, then moved over, went to different four banks, and finally retired as CGM State Bank Hyderabad in 2005. I have forgotten about Ramdev Baba. 2006, my friend Supritik Chatterjee is MD of State Bank of Bikin and Jirpur. His wife Shobha is a very close friend of my wife Pramila. They wanted us to come and visit them in Jaipur. Then we went. They took a lot of care of us. Then they put one office along with us and one car I have hired. I have paid for the car fee, car expenses. But officer was. We went to all the places, Jodhpur, Jaipur, I've seen every place. And we are going to Jaisalmar. After crossing Pokhran, suddenly I remembered about Ramdev Baba. Then I asked this officer who is sitting next to me, in his temple, Ramdev Baba temple nearby, he said, sir, from Pokhran, 10 kilometers, we have crossed Pokhran. On the way back, we'll go and see. On the way back, I went and saw the Ramdev Baba temple. Originally, I used to think Ram Deva is Lord Ram. No, he is a village deity, a person with a lot of siddhis, and who protected the villagers and nearby people from decoration, etc. They worship him as the Ram Deva Baba. That is what I want to tell that I believe in divine power. And therefore, friends, for me, every aspect of life is definitely influenced by the God. That doesn't mean, please remember, that doesn't mean that you should not make your effort. Karmanye vadikaraste maapaleshu karma kadachana maapala karma hyoturbu samnostha karman. In any situation, you have to do your best and leave the rest to the God or mysterious forces. Friends, I will close my session because one hour is the session. Another two minutes is there. We can interact. Any questions, any sharing of the ideas. Thank you very much. And finally, I one more personal example of mine. I missed my promotion as CGM, Chief General Manager, three times. But all three times, people who are senior to me were promoted. But I was thinking, God, because my interview committee member said I have done excellently, whatever the reason may be. When I got promoted, I came back to my parent bank, that is State Bank Hyderabad, and the first two CGM to come from SBH to sit in the CGM chair of State Bank Hyderabad. Others have become CGMs earlier to me, but they never came back to State Bank Hyderabad. I came back to my own bank, parent bank, State Bank Hyderabad, was there for two years and took care of my bank and my people. Nowadays, after me, a lot of people have come. In different banks also, CGMs have come and worked in their own parent banks. But during my time, it's something like a first time it has happened. Thank you very much, friends. That is one more minute is there. If Sunanda permits, we can go for another 10 minutes for a discussion. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Any, any questions, any sharing of the ideas? Thomas? Sir, uh, very limited time, but I would like to be very brief. No problem. 
I agree with all that you have stated, including the divine power. And it has been a great session. Thank you so much. Uh, time is limited, so I will not uh, talk no, no, more. Share your, share your experience about divine power, Thomas. I was told a lot of activities are doing. Divine power, sir, uh, the latest is that uh, some uh, 9th March 2022, mm -hmm. I had the diagnosis test in my PSI reading. Of course, many other people sitting there will understand. PSI reading was 9. Then and doctor said was that grade 2 granular uh, prospect something. And advised me to go for MRI. I don't know. Because there were two weddings in my family. My brothers children were getting married to me. When I started uh, sort of uh, following some lifestyle changes, including healthy foods, which was uh, possible. After three, four months, I found there was a slight improvement in the readings. Mm. I consulted another doctor after some time. He said, uh, he had to do some other test. He also advised me dangerous to wait. So go and do it and he will die. And today, after MRI, I was feeling my uh, symptoms are improving. And some inner voice was telling me, there is nothing dangerous. In spite of doctors telling like this. Sometimes some people may feel it's very stupid. My wife was feeling anxious. I don't know MRI. Today, I consulted a doctor with MRI. Absolutely no problem. Except maybe there was some infection or something. There is some sudden infection. Now, taking for comment, some people may say risky. But some of my inner voice was telling there is nothing seriously wrong. This can be. I waited, but whatever my inner voice is told, I will take my life to the market. Today, I was never, my memory was a failure, I was never really anxious. I was feeling confident. That was very something. That is something if I Today I am declaring it because today after that only I'm coming back from Bali. Very nice then. Very nice Thank you. Yeah, Vidya Kar, you can please go ahead. Thank you so much. Sanada, can you hear me? Yes, yes, you are audible. Thank you, Jacob.
Yeah. Yeah, Neelam ji. Yeah, I think no other doubts, sir. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Damodaran sir, Vinod sir, Srinivasan sir, Thomas sir, Neelam ji. Thank you, friends. Uh, it was a wonderful session. Uh, as he earlier mentioned, um, it was very thoughtful, delightful and dashing session we enjoyed. I thank uh, Dinakara sir on behalf of Deccan Positive Mental Health and uh, Hello Pond India and Manasha Shubhakara from Hyderabad and Forest Creative Arts from Punjab. We can meet uh, next week, friends. Uh, till then, bye and take care. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> yeah, sure, sir. Bye, friends. Good night.